Hello, in this video, we will learn about different switching techniques used in computer network. First, let's understand what is switching. In a computer network, where many different computers are connected to each other, there can be more than one path to send data from one computer to another. Selecting a path that data must take out of the available options is called switching. There are three main switching techniques which are used. Circuit switching, message switching, and packet switching. In circuit switching, a circuit is established between the two ends. It provides a dedicated path for data to travel from one to the other end. Resources are reserved at intermediate switches which are used during the transmission. The intermediate switches are connected by the physical links. Once the circuit is established, the entire data travels over the, dedica travels over the dedicated path from one end to the other end. As soon as the data transfer completes, the circuit is disconnected. The advantage of circuit switching is that there is a well-defined and dedicated path for the data to travel. There is no waiting time at any switch and the data is transmitted without any delay. Data always reaches the other end in order. Circuit switching has the following disadvantages. The channel is blocked for the duration of transmission. It is inefficient in terms of utilization of system resources. The time required for establishing the circuit between the two ends is too long. It requires more bandwidth and is more expensive. Now let's see what is message switching. In message switching, there is no dedicated path to transfer data from sender to receiver. Message is just forwarded from one switch to another switch. When any intermediate switch receives the message, it stores the entire message. The message is stored until sufficient resources become available to transfer it to the next switch. When resources become available, the switch forwards the message to the next switch. This is called as store and forward technique. The advantage of message switching is that the channel is not blocked and more devices can share the channel. It is helpful in reducing traffic congestion as the message can be temporarily stored in the route and then forwarded when required. The disadvantages of message switching are that it requires enough storage at every switch to accommodate the entire message during the transmission. It is extremely slow due to store and forward technique. Message has to wait until sufficient resources become available to transfer it to the next switch. Now let's take a look at packet switching. In this, the entire message to be sent is divided into multiple smaller size packets. This process of dividing a single message into smaller size packet is called packetization. These smaller packets are sent one after the other. The packet switching is of two types, virtual circuit switching and datagram switching. In virtual circuit switching, the first packet informs all the intermediate switches of all the packets that are following and reserves the resources in terms of CPU bandwidth required for the following packets as well. All the packets then follow the same path. In datagram switching, each packet is treated as a separate entity and is routed independently through the network. The advantages of packet switching are that it is cost effective and easier to implement. It uses lesser bandwidth as packets are quickly routed towards the destination and it does not take large amount of space and in case any of the packet is lost, you can request for a new package. The disadvantage of packet switching is that they are unsuitable for applications that, applications that cannot afford delay in communication like voice calls. It also requires higher installation cost. They also require a complex protocol for delivery. It could also lead to network problems in terms of error in packets or delay in delivery of packets or loss of packets. Now we will give you a summary of difference between all the three switching techniques. You can take a printout of this for your final day revision. If you liked our video, do press like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.